Hi, I'm Jesse Arman. I am the Vice President of Regulatory Affairs at the College for Financial Planning. I have a PhD in finance from Tarot University, and the reason for that is that I have an undergraduate degree in philosophy from Franklin and Marshall College. And when you have an undergraduate degree in philosophy, you have to reinvent yourself, needless to say. I began in the financial planning industry as a tax preparer, and that led to running a, a practice as a financial advisor for a number of years. I still run that practice for a select few individuals. Finance and financial services appeals to me for a number of reasons. First of all, I am uh, greatly disturbed at the amount of financial illiteracy in the country, and so it's very important to me to spread literacy as much as I can. I like the fact that there are blacks and whites in financial services. I like the fact that there are right answers and wrong answers in financial services, and I also like the human element as well. So although there are right ways to do things and wrong ways to do things, you always have to keep the human aspect involved when you're dealing with finance and financial services. I enjoy running. I have run 30,000 miles now in my career, just a heck of a lot slower now than I did 30 some years ago. Um, I am greatly interested in classical music and, I, and, and probably an, an odd fact about that is that uh, I do go around the world searching for classical musicians' homes and taking pictures of them. I'm not stalking them, it's just part of my history. Well, my favorite composer is easy. It's Ludwig von Beethoven and it just so happens that today, December 16th, is his 245th birthday. He was born in 1770 in Bonn, Germany and yes, I have been to his home. It was uh, one of the most exciting experiences I've had. I have four grown children at various points in their lives, and I would like to think that I've given them a greater head start in uh, investing and in retirement planning than I had. Well, my favorite country is Italy, uh, but it has nothing to do with the Colosseum. It has nothing to do with the beautiful countryside. It has nothing to do with the beautiful people. Italy, quite simply, has the best food in the world, bar none. I think the message that I would give to students is that when you walk into my class, you are not going to be learning sterile knowledge for the sake of passing exams or writing papers. What I want you to be able to do after my class is to be able to apply this information both personally and professionally. Because if you're not able to do that, then the knowledge that is being uh, transferred to you becomes sterile, becomes unusable. You need to be able to apply it. It needs to enhance your life and the lives of your clients. One of the other things that I'm told, at least my coworkers tell me this, is that I always give them words, new words to think about. I fully understand that uh, this is often seen as quixotic, but I wish in their peripatetic vicissitudes they would be much more honest with me. Thank you.